Good evening guys, I hope this finds you well. I am about to do a little walkie talkie vlog from something I've done very similar last year. We walked down to Disney Springs. Um, I think it was about the first night, so we didn't have the blessing of daylight. Now we have, we've probably got an extra half an hour to do this, so we're gonna make our way down to Disney Springs and I'll show you a few things on the way. Yes, it is typical that you start doing something like this and as soon as you start, the heavens open up and it chucks it down, but it is a lot slower now than what it was. It was a bit torrential for about maybe five minutes. Now it's more of a, let's say a heavy drizzle. This sort of time of year, you will get a storm roll through and then it will be in and out within half an hour or so. Then it clears up and it's nice and warm again. We said this is Palm Parkway. We're standing at the Rosen Inn and we'll make our way down to State Road 535. We'll cross over that. That's also called Vineland. And we'll make our way along to Hotel Plaza Boulevard, which is the entrance gate to World of Disney and um, make our way down through the hotels in that direction, get ourselves to Disney Springs and then have a bite to eat. That is our hotel over there in the distance. This will be, I think it's the fifth time we've stayed there. First time we stayed there it was the Comfort Inn. Second time the Clarion Inn. And we've stayed there a couple of times now as part of the Rosen Inn family. And we are booked to come back here again in 2024. We're only, what, sec end of the second full day into the holidays as we speak. Our hotel, which is on this road, Palm Parkway, is probably, I'd say, half a mile from State Road 535, which you can just see down there, the junction of the car's turning in. It's a four-way intersection. And off to your left, you can go up to a slip road and join the I-4. This here just coming into view now is the Olive Garden where we had our meal on our first night here. It's one of our favorite restaurants in the area. So if you like your Italians, that is, it's probably one of about five or six chains that are really good at it. And it's very reasonably priced. We have a, I think it's a choose your own pasta meal. We've stayed before at a Sheraton, a lot of, I think we've stayed in about maybe half a dozen or so hotels in this area. And this is your four way intersection. As I said, Palm Parkway where we're staying, State Road 535, which goes off down that way. And this is also called a Pocket Vineland. It's just a plethora of your novelty and visitors, good stores, a few convenience stores up the top there, like the Winn Dixie, there is a Dollar Tree, a Wawa, amongst others. Well, you just crossed over the intersection, you kind of take your life in your own hands. You just got to have the faith that the drivers will stop culture over here is very much more the driver has the right of way. It shouldn't be like that but it's just the way it is I guess. We are probably going there for breakfast tomorrow morning. That is your Denny's. That's one of our regular gift shops over there. Haven't actually been in Black Angus. We might do that this year. To our side over here IHOP International House of Pancakes. That will be on the list. That is a, a set of souvenir store. You can get some bargains in now. That is part of your Delta hotel chain. When we stayed there, that was a Double Tree Club. And when that archway there was a giant pineapple used to sit on it. The real tragedy, saddest sight for anyone who loves this area 
is what happened to our left that there would have been the entrance of your crossroads shopping area which would have had a good in supermarket over there you would have had mcdonald's there was a perkins pizza uno i think it was a bahama breeze many of your local chain restaurants were there even had a fantastic indian and fud ruckers problem is they come up with the idea that i think disney were going to put through an intersection to calm the traffic coming through this way and they were perhaps going to come down here straight into hotel plaza boulevard so they knocked it all down and then i believe someone pulled the plug and it's not going to happen now so it's just an obsolete field area now as I said, straight down there, where you can see the flyover, that is your I-4. We are not going any further in that direction. As I just pan around and show that, this just turns around and says this whole area around here, it does have gators. I've never seen one, but it does have gators in it. We're going down here, down Hotel Plaza Boulevard, and this is the start of land owned by Walt Disney World. So we have Mickey there. Mini across the other side of the road. And this now to me feels like home. We always used to stay down this road, this area just outside Disney Springs. Unfortunately, over the years, Virgin seemed to have knocked off the hotels off their agenda, so we can't book them anymore. Otherwise, we would stay at a place called the Wyndham, either the Wyndham Tower or the Wyndham Gardens, which is right down the end here across the road from Disney Springs. That's where we used to stay before we went up to what is now the Rosen Inn. It really does feel strange that we might be over 4,000 miles away from actual home, but this area here actually feels like home. I believe it's four of the, is it four or is it five? I think it's four, four of the hotel chains that are down here we've actually stayed in. The first one coming into sight now, the Drury, that was renovated over the last maybe half a decade. And before it had this part, the second part to your right hand side, it was a single tower. And that was the Best Western. We stayed there in 2008. Wildlife in this area, apart from obviously the snakes and the gators which you're not really in a sleigh not unless you're specifically looking for them you will see the little lizards like geckos um, you go to the water areas the ponds further along and they do have little turtles swimming around in those obviously you've got your fish in your lakes etc um, what you certainly have got in this area is what the county was originally called it used to be called mosquito county before it became orange county and um obviously that wouldn't have fitted well and disney probably wouldn't have come here if that would have the name would have stuck because that does not draw attention in a pleasant way but yeah there's certainly mozzies about i've bitten maybe say i've bitten i've been bitten two or three times around my right knee and maybe one on my ankle today You might perhaps see a raccoon. I know around the Goodings area there was a family of raccoons that lived around the dumpsters around the back. So they've obviously moved on somewhere where they've knocked that down. Bears, no chance. Although certainly man is saying that, there was a bear in the Magic Kingdom literally about a fortnight ago, maybe a week ago. And we are probably only about, I guess, five, six miles from the Magic Kingdom where we are now. So they do frequent the area, but this is more, should I say, rigorously protected. You've probably got state troopers about, uh, animal welfare officers that would move them straight away. The same as they do if a gator gets too large, they relocate them as soon as they possibly can. But wow, that hotel is fully operational. It wasn't quite last year, but it is now huge. You see the tower there, where it's sort of got a nice natural curve in it. That is all there was 
of the Best Western, but then Drury took it over. Well, they own that entire plot now. One hotel that we've never stayed at. That is the Double Tree. I believe that's more suites than it is hotel rooms. So you've got your um, facilities, so you have a kitchen, wash area, etc. A home away from home, some might say. As walkways go, this is really pleasant. You can see these little lanterns in between the trees. They light up when the sun goes down. So it's, it's, it doesn't matter whether it's early morning, afternoon, evening or night. It's just a pleasant walk and it's very safe. I have certainly mentioned this before when vlogging down in this area. It was night time then, so you get a better view of it now than what you did then. I believe at the time, pretty sure it was called the Royal Plaza. What is now the B Resort in front of you. If you're driving around here at night, that lights up and it's all a bluey purple tinge to it. But back in the day, you could not book the top two floors because none other than Michael Jackson had that as his holiday home area. Beautiful sight and the sun going down over there. And the hotel you see just adjacent to that to the left, this is the best view of it. It is sort of kind of part of Hotel Plaza Boulevard. But that's now owned by the Hilton Group. It was just changing over to that when we stayed there. It's now got a lazy river around the side of it. And um, it was called the... I think it was called a Disney Princess. The Princess Hotel on Hotel Plaza Boulevard. We stayed there in 2016. We was hit by, was that the year? I believe that's the year we was hit by Hurricane Matthew. So we had to hunker down there for 24 hours until the storm went through. It's more of a close up of your B resort there. Now coming up on your right is an interesting building known now as being the Amateur Athletic Union. Now what you will see as common sight is maybe them doing their runs, their marathons etc. They might run along this path very early hours of the morning because it gets very hot out here. But that there, the yeah, Amateur Athletic Union, before it was that, and I'm turning around and going back to the late 60s, that building there was your Walt Disney World Preview Centre. They hired a load of ladies and gents and they would present what Disney was about to do in 71 and open the Magic Kingdom. Although unfortunately, the fella himself, the guy we all love, Walt, he didn't make it. Holiday Inn there over to my left. That we stayed there in 99 for our honeymoon. We went back in 2001, both times was September when we was back there, or 99 when we was there, we was hit by, well sort of saying we was hit, it scurfed off the side of the eastern seaboard, that was Hurricane Floyd. And when we come back there in 2001 in the September, we had Tropical Storm Gabrielle. I believe there were six people attacked by sharks in the surf up on the Panhandle around the same weekend. And shortly after that, you had the, the terror events, which were 9-11. We was there when that happened and that was awful. But the way to a man that all the people that worked, all the guests, etc. Those at Disney, they were so welcoming to absolutely everybody afterwards. And it's where America made itself proud after that date. Goes down in history. You always remember where you was. Obviously I'm too young to be of the era when 
Kennedy was shot, well, people will remember that. But when 9-11 happened, that's where we was. We woke up in that hotel in the morning, went down to the lobby area. I'm pretty much sorry if I'm bringing it up and bringing bad memories to any of you guys that have families involved or you live in this area and it's too hard to speak about. But yeah, that at the time, it's now the Holiday Inn. It was the courtyard by Marriott. It was out of action for at least half a decade because the direct hit from a tornado, I believe, from one of your hurricanes. Some say controversial, but that is your headquarters of your Reddy Creek Improvement District. It was in the news, I believe, 18 months, a year ago. Not sure what the all ins and outs of it were. You now I mentioned about turtles earlier. That pond area there, we used to come back from, it wasn't called the Disney Springs area, it was downtown Disney. And you used to tap your rings on the little railing around the side. And all these little turtles would come flapping up and coming around expecting you to have a little bite to eat for them. Local sheriff's department out there, parked in the middle of the road. I wonder what he's up to. Maybe keeping an eye on speed. This hotel coming up to our right. First of all, the one to the left, the one over the back there. That is also a Hilton. Never stayed in that hotel. But this one to the right here was and probably still is our favourite hotel of all time in this area. Um, we're getting a liking for where we are now at the Rosen Inn, for sure. We've probably caught up with it now. It's probably the fifth time we've stayed there now. We stayed here five times. Um, I'm not sure of all the names, but when we first stayed here, it was called the Grosvenor. They had a massive griffin sitting in the garden area adjacent to the pole. After a few years, they separated the hotel. So it's now called the Wyndham Tower, and to the right, the surrounding areas are all known as the Wyndham Gardens now. So you've got two separate prices for your stay. These are classed as good neighbourhood hotels, and of all those good neighbourhood hotels, this is the closest you will find, apart from obviously the Swan and Dolphin, which ain't actually officially Disney hotels, that is within the property area but independent in its own right the reason why it's the closest well there you go you can see the sign straight in front of you that is Disney Springs it's not in the distance that is Disney Springs we will always call it in our minds downtown Disney the same as we always still say about Hollywood Studios is MGM to us it's just the amount of time we've been coming here you get used to or because we're old stuck in our ways and stubborn I've always been, I know it's strange, saying it's strange to say but we don't have a lot of it over in the UK I've only seen them recently, I've always been fascinated by these little coloured flags you see everywhere you ever get a chance to stay there it's got an absolutely fabulous pool at the back of a little rock in the middle with a waterfall over it as of easily more than a decade ago you no longer have to run the gauntlet of um, crossing the four-way intersection here As you can see you've got the bridge network across the top that's got several different walkways it goes over and you got lifts staircases and it's just more comfortable and the actual bridge that we will go across if you happen to stay in this area and you're not going to the park that night you get a good view of the fireworks of the magic kingdom from the center of the bridge looking to your right if you look straight on over disney springs you'll see the fireworks from epcot And it's just beyond that where the old car parking, when it was an open car park, where I become the duck hero. I walked out into oncoming traffic one day, 
stop the traffic they see I was up to something and all I could hear was this quacking and a family of ducks were trying to get across the road so like you do I stopped all the traffic ushered the ducks across the road and it was all good job man and people applauding and smiling really really touches your heart if you are staying in this area one of the luxuries you do have if you're not driving is they have their own official dedicated bus service bus a and bus b which go specifically up and down hotel plaza boulevard all day long so as we come up to this walkway it's been a bit a bit slower because we <laughs> hankered down under a tree when the the rain came through and it's been a slow lethargic walk to be honest with you i think you can tell from that if you was walking here in any sort of kind of hurry you'd do it from where we're staying on the palm parkway down to here across that bridge and down into the springs in around half an hour i'd say this has taken us 45 minutes only one floor but we're saving on the old legs and this is it this is your bridge your walkway and you can see the rainforest calf in the distance we are now on disney springs our last few tentative steps before we hit the springs and there we go folks that is your disney springs right that is going to be our dinner for this evening the earl of sandwich anyway guys i hope this has been informative and enjoyable i don't want it to be an education i know i'm explaining a lot as i'm going along but I wanted you to enjoy it. Feel as if you're with me walking from our hotel down here to the Springs, or as we still call it, Downtown Disney. This bit actually still is Downtown Disney. It's not changed. When they've done all the reconfiguration, all the design, they got rid of Pleasure Island. That was a long, long time ago. But from here up to the Rainforest Cafe and further on up to what is T-Rex, the Everdyning Experience, all in between that has pretty much stayed the same there's not been a lot of maybe a little change in the shape and the layout but that is what disney springs before that before it was disney springs i say that is what downtown disney always was and always has been disney springs is the shopping precinct that joined it afterwards and with that guys thank you so much for watching i will see you in the movies bye for now